Greetings my YouTube friends. I thought today I would show you my completely stuffed stationary pencil case. I keep everything that I use pretty much on a daily basis or weekly basis in here so I'm not having to come into my craft room. I can take this into my office if I go for morning coffee, I just grab this and I know I've pretty much got everything that I need. So, let me show you what is in here. Okay, so, the central section is really where I keep um, the gel pens that I use for tracking. Now, things that I track, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, I've ch just changed all this, um, so this is what I track on a, a daily basis, um, things like water, exercise, making my bed, taking my medications, um, you know, watering the garden, washing, ironing, things like that, so, and shopping. So what I use for all of those is these things, is these gel pens and I, these came from Muji, oh, there's other things in there as well. Now most of them came from Muji but I have added in a couple of extra ones, oops, um, so they're the Muji ones which are actually quite lovely except that I have different sizes. I think I've got three, um, a 0 0.38 and I've got 0.5 and I actually have one that's a 0.7. So I wasn't very good when I purchased these in just making sure that I got all of the same size. Um, However, it doesn't really matter on the grand scheme of things because I do tend to use all of these, but I did need a couple of other colours and the two colours that I found were lacking were yellow and red. So I just grabbed this Kiki K red pen and I actually used this highlighter uh, for the shopping. So that's how I, I tended to do that. Now what... I also had in there was a water brush and a Pigra Micron um, 0 0.1 pen and this is the other highlighter, green highlighter that's the proper. So it's a window on one side and a uh, sort of like a pen nib on the other. So and I do tend to use those. Um, what else do I have in here? I just have some sticky notes, some flags, uh, plenty of flags because I do tend to use flags a bit. Um, these date stickers which I'm not quite sure why I have them in here because I don't really use them but I may use them so I figured if I had them in here I'm more likely to use them because I see them. And then I just have some rub-ons that I quite like. Um, I've always loved these, but I think they've deteriorated now, so they're not going to be... I did test them to see, because there were other ones in this that I just adored. I loved the flags, so uh, and the little hearts, and some of the words. Um, and I just have a little um, Project Life clear card. So that's what I keep in there which would be a heck of a lot easier if I didn't have all of those, uh, which I didn't initially have all of those um, stickers and flags in there. Um, they fitted a heck of a lot better when all of that wasn't in there, but I just do that to get it all down. Now I will go to the back first. I keep a metal ruler in there. I also keep uh, a glue stick just in there. I have three of these Zig Coco Iro uh, brush pens which I really really like these. So these are 
uh, quite a really good brush pen and they're quite fine and I have a dark pink I have a grey and I have oh, this is almost like a blue um, sorry I don't have the blue grey in here uh, I just keep the green in here as well so then I have my Schminky uh, watercolors and that's the color palette in there and oh sorry that's a bit grotty um, but that's just the travel set that I take now that does have a brush included which is a da Vinci and this is a size 5 it's a screw brush I have to say I really like the da Vinci this travel brush it is absolutely gorgeous um, and it's still I've used this a lot and it is still as good as the day I bought the set so that's the da Vinci um, travel brush but I also have these two um, these are Escoda um, brass travel brushes and I have a size 2 and I think I have a size 6 yeah I do which I'm not really too keen on because I'm not sure if you can see you can see there's a there's a, a hair that's sort of escaping there which really annoys me and I've tried and tried and tried but I think I'm just going to have to chop it off because it really does bug bug me no end so they're my two spare travel brushes that I keep uh, in with this set and that's pretty much all I need so generally I will have my um, my little watercolour book with me which is this little one here I'm not sure what brand this is actually I think it's a moleskin yeah it is this is the moleskin um, travel uh, watercolour book so I sometimes just throw that in my bag I'm heading off to jury duty on Wednesday so guess what I'm taking that's what I'm taking so that is that side now on the other side is a whole bunch of other things so I've got a little set of stainless steel with a soft grip um, scissors I also have a little mini whiteout which I use these constantly I've got a heap of these and they're everywhere in my office in here uh, and in my craft room and then here I've just got a general selection of different um, things that I use occasionally now this these highlighters are actually my preferred highlighters just let me get you the set there we go so these are my preferred highlighters which are Ascenti Soft they are um, pastel colors which is what I really enjoy so I've had this is my second set of these and I've broken the the clip <laughs> off the purple one so but it doesn't really matter um, so they're my preferred highlighters so I use them a lot my favorite pencil mechanical pencil is this one which is a um, Kuru Toga made by Uni and this is a 0 0.7 there's something about it rotates um, so I don't know I just really like it I always have and again I've got more than one of these so that's what I tend to use a lot this is the Daiso um, permanent marker which is the super super fine end that end and a quite a thick one that end I've got several of these and I use this a lot also I have a couple of the other Micron pens um, 0.05 and 0.03 they're my favorite ones there this is just another mechanical pencil which I actually quite like as well it's the Stadler Triplus uh, Micro um, 0 
I also have a, a graph, um, graphite pen and that's a 4B um, pen pencil and that's a 4B pencil. I have a, this is a cross um, pen that I sometimes use. I actually don't mind this pen um, but it's just a little thick for me. I like pens that are just a little bit thinner. Um, I thought this would work quite fine and in the shop it seemed to work really fine but um, for a $50 pen I probably wouldn't buy it again but I have it so I'm trying to get some use out of it. This is a Coletto so it just gives me some different coloured uh, inks so orange, red, blue and brown. I do use brown a lot and I use orange a lot strangely enough so as opposed to red so I do use that as well and last but not least are these pockets and I've just got some stickers uh, in, you know some um, little dots and some oh there's some washi in there as well so I won't really show you all of those but anyway they're just some stickers that um, I use but the little dots I do use a lot uh, in my planner so there's extras of those in there so that's pretty much my pencil case and there's not really it probably would be my essentials these are my go-to's for pens, highlighters, pencils, uh, things like that. So there you have it. I also in my handbag do carry a Julio pencil case which I might get now and show you what's in that. Okay so here is my Julio pencil case that pretty much remains in my handbag all the time. If I'm not taking this pencil case, which I don't need most of the times um, with my handbag, only when I'm going to the cafe or something like that where I'm going to do some serious planning, then this is pretty much all I need. So what I have inside here is a Zebra Sarasa clip pen. This is in 0.7. Now, I showed you the Coletto in my other major pencil case, which I did say that brown and orange were two of my favourite colours, so, um, so that's why that one is there. And I also have the same pen in brown. Then I have, once again, my Kurutoga 0.7 um, Uni pencil, mechanical pencil, which I love. You can see by the um, the eraser at the end that it's well used. Um, and yeah, so that pretty much is my favourite. Then I also have a Faber-Castell 2B pencil. Quite often I do um, survey, well, I, I actually get people to fill out um, a, a, well it's kind of like a survey, it's a questionnaire and it needs a 2B pencil uh, for that so that's why I carry that with me pretty much all the time. I also have a Faber-Castell eraser. Then I have my adorable Gilio ballpoint pen. Now this one is a blue pen which is what it came with so Blue is not probably my favourite, but I actually still do use this, so um, when that runs out, I'll get a black, probably, to put inside that. This is my favourite gel pen, which is a Pentel um, Energel liquid gel ink, uh, and this is 0 .0, um, 0 0.05, and that's why I like it, because it's that just a little bit finer. A lot of them um, tend to be 0 0.07 or point, yeah, 0 0.7, so I actually like the 0.5 uh, much better, 0 0.5, not 0, 0 0.05, um, but it's, yeah, needle tip, so I quite like this, um, and I've got several of these. 
I usually carry a Uniball Signo white um, pen with me. Now I find these are by far the best but they are hit and miss for me. I've bought some that just haven't worked and um, I can always tell while well, I've got probably I can see right where I'm sitting here now I've got three over there and um, only two out of the four work really well so I don't know if anyone else has that trouble but I find it quite annoying that you know I have to buy a couple of pens to make sure that I get one that works because I have been caught out before but apart from that I adore them and they work so well on um, dark colored backgrounds so I carry one of those with me I have my Kawiko Sport uh, fountain pen. This one does have black ink in it. While it's a medium tip, medium um, nib, I, which I don't usually like, there's something about this pen that I like using. Now I'm in the middle of essay writing at the moment. This is my go-to pen for all my note taking. So um, I've got this in my that in my pencil case but I have a couple of other colors I think I've got a maroon one and I can't remember what my other color is but yeah I've got about three of these so I quite like them and last but not least is my absolutely adorable Julio uh, fountain pen which I have um, purple ink <laughs> inside I'm not entirely certain that I have the right uh, converter um, inside because I do find it um, it fills with some excess ink. Ink's escaping so I when I'm in the city next I'm going to take this to a pen shop and see if I can get um, you know a better one because this one doesn't quite seem to work so I'll see how I go with that but I adore this fountain pen. Um, it is adorable. So that is pretty much my everyday handbag pencil case and what is inside it. So hope you enjoyed both of those. Oh, <laughs> this is really quite stuffed but it does close up quite okay. Um, so there you have it. My pencil cases and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.